What would you think if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? Lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song And I'll try not to sing out of key I get by with a little help from my friends I get high with a little help from my friends Gonna try with a little help from my friends What do I do when my love is away? Does it worry you to be alone? Out of my feet by the end of the day Oh, you said because you're on your own No, I get high with a little help from my friend I get by with a little help from my friend Gonna try with a little help from my friend Do you need anybody? Need somebody to love? Could it be anybody? On somebody to love Would you believe in love at first sight? Yes, I'm certain it happens all the time What do you see when you turn out the light? I can't tell you, but I know it's mine I get by with a little help from my friend I get high with a little help from my friend Gonna try with a little help from my friend Gonna try a little help from my friend. Hey, how you doing there, Guitar Heroes? All right, well, we got a Beatles song today uh, off S Sgt. Pepper's uh, 1967. Probably one of the most <laughs> popular songs uh, off, the, off the album. Uh, Joe Cocker then did his own little spin on it uh, in 1969, and his... Uh, <laughs> His live version at Woodstock <laughs> lives forever. <laughs> uh, yeah, so what you know? What do you say about Beatles songs? They're you know, fabulous. Ringo sings this one, and uh, you know this one's fairly simple, a fairly slow pace. We got all uh, uh, we've got all open chords except for the the B minor. It's pretty hard to escape all all the time. It's in the key of D, and that's why we got a D A uh, in the E minor uh, in here. We've got a we got a C too. So we got D. Start off with D, we got an A, we got an E minor, and then when we get into the, you know, I get by with a little help from my friends, I'm going to go C, a G, and a D, and then, and then when we get down to, I guess what you'd say is either a bridge or a chorus, do you need anybody, that's why we have the B, the B7, uh, B minor. Now because we come off a D on that last, you know, we can stick the little pinky down over here. Get that, that we can get get that B minor rather than starting with the with the A minor uh, bar. Instead of that, we can keep the D down and take my pinky over and bring it to the G string. Now, why is that the case? Because if you look at the bar chord, you'll see this. That's the strings being put down by the bar. The second, the the second uh, next fret, second string. Gets, gets held down, and the next one does too, those three. So if you just hold those three down, we're in pretty good shape. So that's how you can go from a D to a B minor. So we can do that too. All right, so let's, let's take a little zoom in here and check things out. All right, so we start with the D. What would you think? A. If I E minor sang out of tune, and you're kind of slow on this this first part, what would you think if I sang out of tune? Would you A stand up and walk out on D B? Hang on the D. Lend me your A ears and I'll E minor sing you a song and I'll A try not to sing out of key. And then we go into this. I don't even know what you call this thing. It's, it could be a chorus, and that other part could be a bridge. I get by C with a little G, help from my friends. And then we repeat, basically, it's almost the same word. They get high with a little help from my friends, and I'm going to try with a little help from my friends. And then to move back in, I think we're actually changing keys there, maybe. To move back into the regular verses, we end the D with an A. What do I do when I love is away? So exactly the same thing. Now, there is... 
uh, in the, in the, if you get into the second verse, you actually have kind of a, Ringo sings the first part and then the rest of the Beatles sing the other part. So this part. What do I do when my love is away? Okay, so that's his question. And then the Beatles come in with, does it worry you to be alone? Now, of course, if you're by yourself, like me, I'm singing the both both parts. But that's 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 really what happens if you listen to the record. Ringo is only singing the first question, and then they answer it, and that happens, uh, you know, throughout the throughout the song. Okay, so uh, the D, A, E minor, A. And then when we get, you know, okay, so then you have the C, the G, and the D during the get by with a little help from my friends. And then you're back into the same thing, the D, A, E minor. And that's basically the same throughout the song, except for when we get to this bridge, I think. And this is when do you, B minor, need anybody, and the anybody is, is an E7, right? So normal E, pick up this finger, now it's an E7. Do you need any E7? Buddy. Then we go back to D. I need somebody C, G to love. Could it be a B minor? Any E7, A minor? I want D, somebody C to love. And that's about what we got for the whole song. Now at the end, at the end they've got, they've got uh, uh, this little part that kind of goes like this, see if I can get this right. Yes, I get by with a little help from my friends, with a little help from my friends. Oops, that ain't right. Start with a B flat marker. Friend. <laughs> so that, that's a little tough. The, the, you can see the chord in there, but you know the B flat's not too tough. This uh, G minor six is a little, little, little different. I'm kind of on the uh, these. These I'm not supposed to play the two big strings. Then I play this one, and then these next three. You don't have to end it that way, but that's what's that's what's on the song. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we got a. It's really a nice song, and, and uh, most people can play this thing. Yeah, the B minor might be a little bit tough, but the thing of it is, you got to work on the bar chords too. I mean, this is just part of evolution. You practice. You do it. You know, it's the same old thing. It's repetition, right? Now, what do we learn in school? Hey, you need to repet. You know, repetition. So no different than if you're practicing. You know, on the scale, you can't do it two or three times and think you're good, right? If you did that for just a couple of minutes, <laughs> you'd be in good good shape. If you can do that then repetitively, that's a lot of times to go through. Two minutes you can go through an awful lot of times. So it's good just for uh, for good practicing to get better and better at those scales. All right. Well, I hope you got something out of this this uh, lesson uh, with a little help from my friends, the Beatles, uh, '67. I get high with a little help from my friend. I get high with a little help. I get high with a little help from my friends.